Welcome to another very exciting video. Today we're going to be testing out the new Catrice Seeking Flowers collection. I got the eyeshadow palette, two highlighters, the blush, a lip mask and also one of the lip stains. And I can't wait to try them, so let's get into it. So the theme of this collection is super cute. It's like this, a very bright peachy orange that we see throughout the whole collection. And then the flower theme. If you know me, then you know I love florals, flowers, everything. If that's in the packaging, I am sold. I love it. Well, not like 100% of the time, but it's definitely my thing. And the thing we, of course, want to start with preparation of the look I'm gonna do is the Catrice Seeking Flowers Hydrating Lip Mask. This is a dupe, I believe, for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. They are in a very similar tub, uh, a very similar look to them. They both have 20 grams. I have the original, the grapefruit one, and I've been using it the past few days to kind of like refresh my memory on what this actually felt like because it's been a little while, like a few weeks since I tried it. So that was what I was doing. So we have the hydrating lip mask by Catrice. It has a little like protective part here and then we have the lip mask this one is kind of like swirled around with pink and orange and it smells very fresh fruit kind of like tropical but i don't feel like it's too like overpowering it smells pretty good i quite like it i'm just gonna like use the back of my nail take a little bit and apply that it feels thinner than the little Laneige and it feels a little bit more oily than the Laneige, I feel. It's definitely not the same consistency. This is definitely thinner. The Laneige is kind of like almost a bit more jelly. And this feels a little thinner and maybe a little bit oily almost. Like it feels nice and it looks nice. But I wouldn't say this is a dupe. Of course I have to test it out a little bit more before I really can say if this makes my lips any softer. It does have shea butter in this, a lot of different oils. It does seem like a very hydrating product. So we're gonna see. I'm just gonna keep it on the lips while I try the other products from the collection. All right, next up, let's just hop into the eye look. This is the Catrice Seeking Flowers eyeshadow palette and this is in C01 By Myself Flowers. This one, is very like eye-catching for sure it's like all in one pen we have the flower in the middle i do have to say when i swatched it i thought this is gonna be just okay this is gonna be a very okay eyeshadow palette more so something that you buy for the packaging than for the actual quality of course we're gonna be trying to do a decent look we're gonna be trying to do a nice look but i have my doubts to be honest from the swatches it smells definitely a little perfumey florally um a little soapy okay let's zoom in and start doing the look all right we don't have a lot of options i feel uh i guess i'm just gonna start out the crease with the floral shade in the middle and then we can go from there and i'm just gonna take a little bit of a fluffy crease brush. I'm already wearing eye primer. In a swatch, this shade looks pretty subtle. Like nothing close to what we see in the pan. I feel like on the eye, it's a little better. Maybe, hopefully, I don't know. I guess it's fine, but it's not really something where I'm like, yeah, that's obviously very billable and pigmented. All right, I'm gonna go into the deepest kind of like satiny shimmer. I'm gonna put that in the outer corner kind of. It's very satiny, but okay. Some people prefer a satin shimmer. Sometimes I can appreciate a satin shimmer, so I wouldn't say that this is bad or anything. Doing a little bit more of a blend and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the more bronzy shimmer on the eye as well. Just a little bit over here in the middle. Also quite subtle. I'm gonna reapply a little bit of the deepest shade because I feel like it kind of disappeared. Like so. And I'm gonna take the kind of like yellowy 
orange on the lid as well. This one is a bit powdery. And it also looks powdery on the lid. Um, yeah, also very satiny, powdery. I like the look a little better with this on, but it's not really the type of formula that I usually like. Don't feel like it's super flattering. I feel like from a distance this could look fine, but from up close I'm not really like impressed. Yeah, it doesn't happen a lot nowadays that I don't like um, eyeshadow palettes or that I think they're bad quality. Usually it's just that I can like appreciate it kind of for what it is, even if it's too soft for me or not my color story. Uh, but I feel like this one did miss the mark. Like it doesn't look flattering even for what it's supposed to be, I guess. Like it's very kind of like mm, meh. Like the way this blends and just that matte and I feel like this matte is kind of supposed to carry the palette because this is basically like nothing. Basically just your skin tone. Can I apply a little bit of that satin over here? Maybe that will save it. Not much better. Okay, um, gonna take a clean brush to blend. It's basically just blending away. I think I've seen what I needed to see. I think I know enough about this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna put on some mascara and my brows and some bronzer and then we're gonna continue on with the rest of the products. Um, this might be one of the worst eyeshadow looks I have done in a long time. It looks very like luster, kind of patchy, kind of bad. I'm sorry, I'm not liking this palette. I'm not. Okay, and let's move on to something I'm hoping is gonna blow my mind and is gonna save my feelings about this collection. This is the Catrice Stick Blush, the Seeking Flowers Blush and Brush Stick in C01 Barelicious. I decided to only grab the pinky shade because orange is just never gonna work on me so then I can't even really re review it. It's just gonna look bad anyway. This does seem like a pretty bright shade. So we're just gonna try it out, but it might be a little deep. Um, it has kind of like this swirl in it, kind of like there is highlighter and color combined. So we're gonna see if this is gonna look very glowy on the skin. I feel like that's pretty easy to blend. Like that is pretty subtle. Seems more like a buildable blush actually. And that's really nice. Means I can use it, but if you have a deeper skin tone, you can also just build it up. Okay. I really like this. I actually really like this. Sometimes with bright pinks I go a little bit overboard, but I feel like that side is not even. I'm gonna try to not look too crazy today. Well, I kind of already failed with my eye look. Okay, I think that is cute. I like it. It's easy to use, there's a little bit of a glow to it, but it's not like sticky or tacky which I don't like. I don't want this heavy, sticky feeling on the skin. I think this actually looks quite flattering. Really cute. All right, next thing we have is the highlighters. I got two of the highlighters. Um, these are the cream to powder highlighter. I have a CO1 Watch Me Blue. And this is a kind of like cool tone, pinky, champagne highlighter. I'm probably gonna try this on the cheeks. Um, this looks really nice. I feel it's kind of like this putty type, like super shock type highlighter. Uh, one way I have found that out is because the one in CO2 Epri Glow came kind of like shrunken in a pan. I've had this before with putty highlighters. When you get them in the mail, it kind of like have shrunken and then they are kind of loose in the pan and you can just like press it back. So I kind of tried to press it back. In a close-up you can see how it came and here I just kind of tried to fix it and now it's like at least basically stuck in there and I'm fine with it. I can live with it. Um, and now it's just 
is usable. So I'm gonna use this yellowy one in the inner corner. In the inner corner, I have to say that um, I thought they were gonna be more kind of like yellowy and more pinky like in the product shots kind of that they release of this collection before you could actually shop them these highlighters looked a little bit more pigmented but like or pigmented looked more vibrant in the shade but i don't feel like that is the case this is really nice in the inner corner this looks really promising that is a cute kind of like a yellowy champagne highlighter all right and then the pink one i'm gonna use as my highlighter this looks so so nice and i'm just gonna take off like the flat part of my brush i already dipped it in so i'm not gonna do that again and let's apply it on the cheeks Ooh, that looks really nice that's really cute just natural skin like can build it up a little. If you like a putty highlighter, I think you're gonna like this. I really think this is super pretty. Here's something in the background, it's my cat, but if I let him in right now, I'm not gonna be able to film this video. I think. I don't wanna risk it, I'm almost done. This is so pretty, I really like this highlighter. Okay, blush. It's nice highlighter is nice i am feeling excited um we only have one less thing to try i only got the shade co3 bloomtastic because i thought okay this is gonna be my shade this is gonna be the thing that i enjoy the most so yeah this looks like a really cute kind of like bright fuchsia i can never say the i can never say the word fuchsia i'm always tripping over that word when i'm speaking english like the word oil so hard to say for me and then the word fuchsia uh, but this looks like a really cute shade i'm gonna take out the lip balm i do feel the urge to apply a little bit more blush but sometimes i do that and i just kind of ruin the whole thing so me and lip stains we don't always like get along because i have pretty dry lips and sometimes they just look a little like uneven on my lips so we're gonna see if i'm gonna like this one I feel like it pulls a little bit more red on camera than it does in real life, but it's also kind of, it's so bright. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then I'm gonna take it off. I could not contain myself as always and I applied a little bit more blush while I was waiting. I feel like I'm not looking too crazy just yet. I feel like I stopped in time. I kept it a little subtle. All right, it's time to remove and see what we have it looks it looks pretty good i would say it looks not bad i've definitely tried worse looking stains that made my lips look way way worse than this but it's still not super even but maybe i'm just expecting stains to do something that they don't really do i'm gonna apply a little bit of a lip liner and i think i'm gonna go for the stormy lip pencil by lunar beauty and I kind of want to see what this looks like with a little bit of a gloss on top. I am going to apply the Kiko Milano lip oil from their uh, Christmas holiday collection. So this is going to be a finished look. And I definitely have some mixed feelings about this collection. Um, I don't feel particularly good looking right now like i don't feel particularly pretty i don't love my look but there are some things here that i think quite a lot of people are gonna like and then there are some things here that i wouldn't recommend to anyone maybe my worst enemy all right let's start with the thing that disappointed me the most and i wouldn't recommend so the eyeshadow palette mm, i don't like the quality of this even if it's supposed to be a little bit more like subtle i feel like the mattes don't blend well i feel like that kind of like yellowy orangey shimmer-esque 
shadow looked very weird on my eyes. I don't love this at all. I don't think this looks good. I don't really think anybody needs that. The lip mask is nice, but it's not Laneige. Like, it feels quite nice. I can't say much else about it so far. Like, so far it smells nice, it feels nice, and it made my lips feel like not bad. But that's all I can say for now. The blush, I think, is really cute. I actually am excited to try it out more. It it can be worn pretty subtly, what, which I didn't expect. Um, but you can also kind of like build it up. So that's a really good thing. Like it's a bright shade, but I actually feel like it looks quite natural right now. And then we have the highlighters, the two kind of like super shock highlighters. I think this is a very nice formula, it looks very natural, it really like blends into the skin. There's not much of a base to it, I feel like when I turn my head it just kind of like disappears and then it appears and it just looks nice and glossy. I really like the shades that they chose, they are not as colorful of a highlighter as you would expect. I feel like it's just a little bit of a yellowy undertone for champagne and then we've kind of like a pinky like soft pinky shade so really like those actually i think those are gonna be my favorite of this collection i really really enjoy those and then we have the lip stain i feel like this is a pretty good thing like this is a pretty good product for a lip stain i like the color i just don't know if i'm the person for lip stains to be honest i just i always just keep trying to make this work and i don't feel like it looks bad but i just feel like maybe i want something that looks a little bit more even um but let me know if you like the lip look the way it's looking now or how would you wear this like Maybe you have any tips for me, like ways you like to wear your lip stain. And then that's actually going to be everything for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.